Hey, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this test video, we would like to share our experiences with the Kala Ecotier 11.6 Touring Board with you. Kala is at least on the European paddleboard market quite a newcomer and started in 2021 with a small but fine board range. The data of the boards and accessories sound promising, and therefore we were very excited when we heard that we could test one of the touring boards ourselves with the Ecotier 11.6. In this video, we would like to share our impressions from practice with you and tell you all the important details about the complete paddleboard set. Of course, we also looked into the question of whether the investment is worth it and for whom the shorter touring board is best suited. So much in advance, the Kala Ecotier has also apart from the unusual Rasta optics some special features in stock, by which it differs from many comparison models of the board class. The tested board was provided to us free of charge by Kala. We put a lot of heart and soul into our paddleboard reviews and love them, but even we have to cover our expenses. Therefore, we would be very happy if you use the link provided in the video description for a possible purchase of the board. With the small commission we get, we can finance our projects in the future and provide you with the latest information. Of course, your price will not change. Visually, the Ecotier with its reggae design is a real eye-catcher. The wooden design with the stripes in red, yellow, green, the lion's head, Lion of Judah, on the tip, and the palm trees in the area of the fins gives you that Jamaica feeling. The shape with pointed nose and straight tail makes it clear that this is a touring board. On closer inspection, however, you quickly realize that the manufacturer has deviated somewhat from the standard here. At 350 by 81 by 15 centimeters, or 11 feet by 6 inches by 32 by 6 inches, the Ecotier is a good deal shorter than many other touring boards. The width, on the other hand, is quite generous. This makes it clear that the board is comparatively more stable in the water. This should please ambitious beginners in particular, as it is easier to maintain balance on this board. The maneuverability is also more pronounced than on longer models. This together with the strongly upward curved tip nose rocker is a clear advantage in wavy conditions and currents. Of course, it is not quite as nimble overall as longer and narrower touring boards, but its strength lies clearly in its versatility, which comes into its own very well in almost all conditions. Another plus point in this report is the setup with three removable fins, which additionally underlines the flexibility of the Ecotier. Kala relies here on the Smart Lock system, which we already know from the other well-known manufacturers such as Bluefin. This allows you to react to changing conditions and areas of use at any time and vary the running characteristics of the board. If the water surface is calm and you have long straight routes, you can only mount the center fin and thus optimize the straight running. If it gets rougher and you simply want better basic stability, then the 2 plus 1 fin setup is more suitable. Also, the maneuverability improves noticeably. Overall, the Kala Ecotier thus belongs to the very adaptable touring models. Construction, weight, load capacity, and workmanship. The Ecotier is also modern in its board construction with fusion technology. The central element is very dense, drop stitch core, which polyester threads connect the top and bottom sides and are additionally woven in an X shape to form a stable fabric, X woven drop stitch. The fabric cover of the core is inseparably fused, with the stable outer cover made of UV resistant PVC under the influence of heat and high pressure. The rails are double layered, with the outer layer made of fabric reinforced PVC. Overall, this construction, which the company calls HDX Air System Technology, allows the board to achieve excellent stiffness, while still being very light at only 9.2 kilograms or 20 pounds. Combined with the overall volume, we think the maximum recommended paddler weight is up to 120 kilograms, 264 pounds. Kala even puts the load capacity at 140 kilograms or 310 pounds, which is still quite realistic if the weight is evenly distributed. Thus, light adults can also paddle a round in pairs with a child or a dog. The quality of the test board made a good impression, which is to be expected in this price range. Thanks to the fusion technology, the outer shell is made of one piece and peeling layers are a thing of the past. The construction is innovative and combines robustness and durability with a low weight, which makes transport and handling much easier. The equipment features on the Kala Ecotier 11.6 are also extensive and can be seen. The following features are aboard. Deck pad. 
The large anti-slip deck pad has the classic diamond structure and provides a good grip even when wet. However, the Bloom's material is exceptional, as this foam is made of 20% seaweed, making it quite environment friendly. Compared to other materials, it is a bit firmer, but this has a positive effect on the stability. 8 free D-rings A total of 6 D-rings are located on the sides next to the standing area. A separate available kayak seat can be flexibly attached here. For hooking the included coiled leash, a very stable D-ring is integrated into the rubber patch of the valve at the tail. On the underside of the nose there is an additional very thick one, which can be used as an anchor or tow ring. Two carrying loops with removable paddle holders. In the middle and at the end of the tail of the board, there is a handle made of webbing material in each case. They are wrapped by removable paddle holders made of neoprene, which are decorated with a rubber patch including lettering. Additional handles are also very useful in terms of transport and handling in the water. Three removable fins. Both the smaller side fins and the larger center fin can be mounted via the smart lock system. For this, you only have to open the small lever, insert the fin into the box, push it down and close the lever again. A very fast and comfortable system. Two luggage nets. So that you have enough storage space even on big tours, there are two luggage nets available at once. In the front area is a black elastic cover net, which is attached to six D-rings. In the rear area of the stand is a smaller luggage net attached to four more D-rings. Action Cam Mount To take photos and videos of your adventures and still have your hands free, you can mount your Action Cam on the mount of the nose of the board. Accessories In our opinion, the quality of the accessories is crucial for whether a paddleboard set is worth its money and gives long pleasure. So it's even nicer that the Kala Ikatir comes with the high quality equipment in the package. Trolley Backpack the silver backpack trolley with matching design elements has two compartments and good outdoor wheels. In the large main compartment, the rolled up board and the large parts of the equipment find enough space. With the integrated luggage strap, the contents can be securely fixed. In addition, there is a handle, a transparent address compartment and two side slots with several straps, for example, to fix the paddle parts to the side. With the wide and soft padded carrying straps, and the adjustable chest and waist strap, the backpack can be worn very comfortably. Overall, a very excellent model with trolley function. Carbon Paddle The three-piece paddle has a shaft made of carbon. The paddle blade and handle are made of reinforced nylon. It is continuously adjustable from 170 to 210 centimeters and weighs only 775 grams. All the individual parts fit very tightly and the design of the paddle blades fits well with the whole set. Unfortunately, the print does not seem very abrasive resistant. Double action air pump with pressure indicator. In double action mode, you pump air into the board at start both when pulling up and pushing down on the handle. The majority of the volume is thus quickly achieved. Towards the end, however, the counter pressure rises sharply and pulling up gets more and more strenuous. Then simply switch the single action mode by turning the small plug out of the pump housing. Now the pump only works when pushing down, which saves you a lot of power. Coiled leash including key pocket. With this spiral shaped safety leash, you can connect yourself to the board at the ankle or below the knee via a wide and comfortably padded Velcro sleeve made of neoprene. The leash only stretches to its full length 10 feet or 305 centimeters when needed, preventing the board from drifting without you. A small Velcro pocket in the cuff provides extra space for a key. Repair kit including valve wrench. This small kit consists of black PVC patches, glue, and a valve wrench with which you can tighten the valve or replace it completely. You can repair minor damage to the board at any time with this set yourself. FAQ How long does it take to inflate the Kala Ikatir? This always depends a bit on your strength and endurance. Normally, however, the board should be inflated to the recommended 15 psi in 7 to 10 minutes. The board can withstand up to 20 PSI, which is an indication of very good quality. Is the Kala Ikatir suitable for beginners? Yes, due to its shorter and wider design, it has a solid tipping stability compared to other touring boards. Even ambitious beginners can start successfully with it. Compared to even wider all-arounder boards, however, a little more practice is certainly necessary. Is there a warranty on the board? Yes, Kala offers a warranty of two years on all paddleboards and thus underlines the high demand on its own quality. 
For this warranty, you must register your board online with the manufacturer. The Kala Ecotier 11.6 has delivered a very good performance in our test. It's not cheap, but you have to take into account the construction of the board as well as the accessories are absolutely up to date. Especially the Fusion technology, the high quality backpack and lightweight carbon paddle are some factors that justify the price. In addition, the equipment is really extensive. Here the two luggage nets, the paddle holders and the action cam holder are especially worth mentioning. The variable setup with the three removable fins lead to maximum flexibility. Compared to longer touring boards with single fins, the Ecotier is much more versatile and maneuverable, which is especially noticeable when conditions are not particularly calm. This also makes the board a perfect and much sportier alternative to the all-arounder. Even beginners can quickly get to handle the Ecotier with a little practice. If you want to dive a little deeper into the details of the board, feel free to check out our written review at stand-up-paddling.org forward slash UK. You'll find the link in the video description. If you liked the video, we would be very happy if you shared it with your friends and give us a like. By subscribing to our channel, we'll also be happy to keep you up to date with the latest paddleboarding news in the future. See you next time.